today we are going to uh, do how I pack my bag and what I put in it. I, I think I've already made that pretty clear. What I put as far as that and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, first thing I have is, um, I'll, I'll do it here. First thing I have is my uh, sleeping bag, my North Face sleeping bag, and uh, I put it in this big bag, uh, Keep Nature Wild bag. I just had it laying around, so I put it in here as a liner. I keep everything waterproof, mainly my bag, because I have had it wet one time. It took like an hour or two to uh, dry out, but. And I have my clothes just stuffed in here. You know how it goes for a backpacker. Um, and yeah, this is just my main compartment. Everything's in here. Uh, my dad, when we go backpacking, my dad's bringing the, uh, oh, he's bringing the stove, pulling MSR and his jet boil, but uh, then, I forgot to tell you guys, I have my uh, total collapsible fishing pole in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's nothing really mm -hmm. to see. It's not that much of a sight, but um, then uh, that's it in here. Close it up, um, and it's waterproof for the most part in there. Just splashes in water that gets to the bottom, which is mostly the problem, and I won't have to clean my bag in the inside. So, then let's, oh, right here is this bleacher seat, it's just foam, that I will bring outside right here to sit on on like a tree or something whenever I'm starting the fire, something like that. But uh, yeah, got that. I just put it right here. Pretty easy and not hard. Cause I, I don't have a big bag, but it's it's pretty well sized for, uh, for me. It works great in my opinion, but um, the field and stream, I know some of you guys have asked if you're one of my friends, but um, then we got my my headlamp. It's a pencil. Got the bait tackle fishing uh, reel. It attaches to my uh, rod. Life straw. Uh, I got my emergency waterproof light, matches, and I got my. I just got some new clothes from one of my friends. They're like brand new. I got a marmot. I think this is a down uh, jacket or puffy jacket, if you will. But um, it, I just hook it on to the back, so it's easy access if I ever need it. Just clip it off and it has this little stuff sack. It's super light and compact. And then got this little all-in-one little whistle, compass, temperature thermometer. Uh, has a little light that doesn't work right now. Uh, it's a magnifying glass and this little signal mirror that I guess you can start a fire with. Ah, uh, one sec. And here we go. There we go. Okay. So I put all this stuff, just my basic emergency stuff, I, I guess you could say, in this little side compartment because there's a lot of room on this side. And I, I'm going to put my 40 ounce clean can, metal clean canteen right there so it'll kind of balance out the weight. And so I just put it right in here, stuff it in. Nice little compartment you got there. Yeah. The other side, it opens up to the actual main compartment. It, it's not another pocket, it just opens up to the main compartment. Uh, but as far as that goes, this all just fits in here pretty well. And yeah, tell us if you like this uh, audio or in video yes, quality. Yes, we have our new Samsung Galaxy A71 5G. 5G. My brother really likes telling the specs. He's a tech nerd. Ever since his phone, it's crazy. Okay. No so now more. I pack but. that all in there. So very snug. And then I got these black diamond uh, 
carabiners. Pretty expensive on REI. I got them for my birthday, but um, I would recommend these. They're like super high quality. And then I did not mention that I just put this in this little compartment. It's super easy. It's right in there. And it's snug. It won't let loose or anything. Basically compresses it with everything else. And then put this guy right in here. Has this little loop. It'll hold Is that one line. question, is that bag waterproof? Bag? Yeah, that little and that little tiny sack for the It pulls. It doesn't really matter because the jacket itself is is waterproof, so really matter I guess <laughs> but uh, it's probably waterproof it's like a nylon or synthetic but mm -hmm. um then right here we got my Gerber easy access I'm gonna put it on my belt actually I go hiking probably I don't know it depends on what I wear and then right here I got this little string it I just put it I know this is kind of like hippie, weird, and this is gonna break, but I use this to help not, it doesn't hold. Now, I bet you guys are thinking, how does that hold your, like, two pound uh, sleeping pad? It's probably not two pounds, but it's pretty heavy. How does that hold it? It's not, it's just securing it so it can be tight. I got three carabiners holding it. Mm -hmm. At different points, so it's all separated out in these huge uh, carabiners. But so I put this through here. Hold up, and then it holds it at two different points. Then this, and you guys are thinking like, what the heck are you doing? Uh, one sec. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and, see you in the um, next episode, right? Yeah. And check out uh, our featured channels. We're going to list some. We we don't have any right to those channels, but they're just some good backpacking yeah. and cooking in the outdoors uh, channels. Also, yes, no. We just want to acknowledge them because that's where we get yes, some a lot of our knowledge. Yeah.
I, I can't explain it all. So he's so great. And he gives, he covers so much more than us. So. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.